Hello, 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 welcome, and yo, welcome here at the July Leg uh, Mobile Esports Arena Vainglory 5v5 tournament. And this is very special today because we are now, yeah, for season two, for season two with the new A Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. Right now, I mean, until I think next year, we are gonna be uh, sponsored by Zenfone Max Pro mm -hmm. for our Massa Mobile Esports Arena. Mm -hmm. Onwards. Onwards. That's it's so not cool. only on Vainglory, but all the games that we just will imagine, be handling. Imagine, like a few months, a few months ago, even a year ago, we were like just like doing this, and now we have mm. something like Asus. A glorious phone over here. Really nice phone. If I were you, um, I will get this phone. Same phone, Max Pro M1. All right. Meanwhile, it's been a while that. Yeah, it's been a while that we we had some Vainglory games. Now it's the, already the July leg. I mean, and lots of rain has passed. Mm -hmm. Now we have a Vainglory tournament for this um, month of July. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the players, it's it Sitter Hunter versus Vigilante. Yeah, Sitter Hunter versus Vigilante. Four hour first game here. Mm -hmm. So we're just gathering a team. So Y2K, I mean, just weeks ago, there mm -hmm. was a recent update for mm -hmm. Vainglory. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think about it? I mean, so much things happening every update. I mean, Ring Glory is really focused in improving the quality of life mm -hmm. in game. There's a lot of changes to be honest. Like the new hero first, and some nerves and buffs or adjustments in the items, and also with a hero. So it's really, it's really changing from time to time how the meta works, how the current. Um, how the play style and everything and this would be very interesting because this is one of one of the most Like not the most but the large update that I'm seeing in the game And yeah, and that in in our part. I mean that makes Mesa so exciting every month I mean mm -hmm. just imagine how fast I mean how rapid the update goes mm -hmm. So like every maybe two months we get this massive update mm -hmm. that means the meta changes So it's like something new every Mesa for Vainglory. Mm -hmm. It's like very unorthodox like playstyle specs or whatever like item builds it actually depends that yeah as you said fang that's one of the things that really hypes um, as a vainglory every month yeah i mean uh also about the uh no i just want to talk about it west g west g you're talking really about hyped. so much in game and now I mean, we haven't had, had much news about like VPL, but West G, I mean, this is mm -hmm. a one heck of a tournament coming mm -hmm. in. From China to the Philippines, it's coming here at, at October, so it's kind of hype. We have Vainglory also in West G. It's already been years now since Vainglory is in West G. So, with, like, teams can, can make Mesa tournaments. Uh, like having the advantage or the momentum that they need for the West G qualifiers and then proceeding to the West to West G. And I mean, what's so special about this West G? It's it's country based. Country based. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen yet like a country based um, kind of like tournament in Bangalore, especially in Southeast Asia. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had some before, but it's all community based. Yeah. Right now, this is a larger scale mm -hmm. West G. If I'm not mistaken, that's Tesseract. Now we have well, West G already. Yeah, I mean, now we have West G um, organized by uh, Goriad Concepts for the Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. I for the Philippines. For the Philippines, so, Goriad. So, yep, and they they might use um, their experiences in Mesa, gaining momentum and how they will strive and work hard in order for them to qualify in the West G qualifiers. That I I don't don't have the date yet. But, but forgot to mention, what do you think about the new hero? Man, I didn't have the chance to try it, but it's not that broken. It's very versatile for me. Yeah, I mean, Anka, I mean, she is like, I don't know how you would compare to her to other MOBAs, but she's like a one hit, one kill, a good chaser, but mm. she's very vulnerable when you catch her. Yeah, it's like whenever you see her burst down or lock down any certain ch um, heroes it's she's very vulnerable you can go all into her but that's also the risk if you go all into her the yeah. rest the rest of the team may capitalize it but the thing is she's always banned though i mean all the rank games i played i didn't have the chance to play her at all mm -hmm. she's always banned i didn't have the chance to play her in in like even in normal games or casual games I played her in the practice mode 
which is that doesn't really make sense for me but seeing the mechanics and the kits especially the jungle clear as early as level one that would really give her I don't know if it's him or her, but the vers versatility all throughout the game. Although what remains um, for me in this topic, what remains, actually not what remains, what is gone is the meta of healers. I mean, yeah, for Lyra, they nerf Lyra. So really, I mean, the past patch, it was all about having a heal. So you have an Adagio, mm -hmm. you have a Lyra, mm -hmm. you have a lot of sustain. Mm -hmm. Now it's right being now, nerfed. With the introduction of the zero, so I think we're entering like a bursty kind of meta here. And mm -hmm. that's more exciting. I mean, when you're casting, you know, just the action goes and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. But probably this will lead them for a possible... To end the game as early as the early game already. So like you have like a 20 minute game now with this kind of meta, it can be like less than 15 minutes. Less than 15 minutes. Like having a good decent tank, a chaser, and a burst damage dealer. Now, with the introduction yeah, again to the nerf, uh, probably we will be seeing an adagio, but the usual attack speed adagio, the bruiser one. Although I've still s saw some adagio plays here, even Lyra, but Lyra right now, I mean, she's not a healer anymore, but people dealer. started laning mm -hmm. a Lyra. Mm -hmm. Like, I saw Quadrova play a uh, top weapon Lyra. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But, you know, for a normal person who's not like Quadrova, CP Lyra works so well these days. Mm -hmm. CP Lyra or a weapon power Adagio will really work on this one. Um, with, with the Grace addition, it's not really impacting her since the Divine Intervention is just an ultimate and a single skill base. Whereas um, Lyra which can really give a good, decent heal. And her team, and we are right now, now inside the game. Of that. So right now we have City of Hunter on the left side, and meanwhile we have Vigilante on the right side here. And now we're entering the draft mode here. Oh no, Anka is being uh, oh that's kinetic. Now that's kinetic that they ban first. Uh, there's kinetic and Anka. So really, the new heroes being banned. Looks like Reza. I mean, Reza got a buff here. That's why Reza jungle is so deadly. Mm -hmm. So he, potentially he could be banned here. Still, a fortress remains to be. A Top ban here, a very versatile wolf. Mm -hmm. really? There goes the Reza ban. The Reza ban. See, but no, no more of those healers like Lyra mm -hmm. getting banned. Mm -hmm. You have these kind of heroes now, like Bursty Comps. Mm -hmm. But now, ooh, still. Still do the Celeste, I mean. Celeste. Especially burst on uh, the burst on uh, the the overdrive of the Hilo Genesis is still can be deadly even though oh it looks like they're hovering at Kensei here. Mm -hmm. Still, I mean, when you pick a first pixel S, I mean that uh, dictates like what kind of composition you have. I mean, it's a double sword. I mean, double edged sword because mm -hmm. the enemy can plan against it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you get to get your first pick, mm -hmm. which is Celeste, and they respond with a fin. It's still not really a good idea if you're going to first pick Celeste, but if you're going to counter the next possible picks against Celeste, but like we I have... They just did counter with a Catherine A Finn and, and a Finn. Catherine. Wow. Like, like possible combo of Finn entering in and then Catherine the Blast Tremor. Yeah, can most likely this is going to be a uh, top Catherine. Mm, probably a cup. It's going to lane Catherine. against the weapon power of the bot lane of um, the, uh, City of Hunter. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they're hovering at Samuel as well, so really um, sustained kind of composition here. And right now, City of Hunter. Sustain and poke at the same time. Ooh! It's still, they went to the Adagio, and at the same time, there is Glaive. Oh, Glaive. I haven't seen Glaive for a while here. And there you go, to Samuel. Can't exactly yet um, foresee what kind of uh, comp City of Hunter is going for. I mean, you have a Celeste, you have a Glaive. Double stun, mm -hmm. and uh, you have a slow from Adagio. Mm -hmm. So the last two picks are gonna be really crucial here. Meanwhile, fourth pick, it's Gwen. Still Gwen. Such a good pick. I mean, they want the burst. The Skedaddle allows Gwen to escape the stuns of Glaive and Celeste. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you have a Vox. Really mobile Vox against against the the composition can that can really bulldoze or have a decent crowd control. But on the other hand, like you said, Skadaddle, if any case that the afterburn is activated and he's, she's being pushed Skadaddle out, go And Ataka. Ataka is not... It's it's always banned before, but for some reason, because of the recent changes. I find the combo of City of Honor a bit tricky. You're talking about Ataka and a Glaive. Mm -hmm. 
both the win condition is that they initiate and dive. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you have a Celeste behind. I'm not. I mean, they have to coordinate so well so on how curious. well Celeste can catch up with the pacing of Glaive and Taka. Mm -hmm. I I just I just think oh the Glaive is on top lane and answer back with an Alpha. Um, I haven't seen Alpha also. Yeah, in Alpha a while. is a bit broken right now for me. I mean, Alpha since the last patch, still broken. Even now, still broken. It's always broken. So your City of Hunter, the Celeste, so much burden. I mean, she has to play so well and stay behind to be able to poke. Mm -hmm. Because the likes of Alpha and uh, Catherine can like penetrate and pass through straight to her. Mm -hmm. Like it that if the proper um, disengage being initiated by Finn, they don't have uh, probably any problem with that one. But in this case. We are now going to the rise again. City of Hunter Vigilante. This is the first round of the Mesa Vingdory 5v5 tournament for the month of July, and this is powered by Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. All right, we're entering the game. Sovereign Rise is here. Let's see how both teams. Ooh, we're gonna see a support of that show here. Here we begun. go. The obvious path there. Well, we are gonna see CP Alpha there. CP Alpha. This been also been a long time that I saw a CP yeah, I versus seen Alpha. A CP Alpha for quite some time. I mean, I've been always used with a weapon power Alpha. Mm -hmm. More on an engage. Ah, oh, look at this rotation. Oh no, here we go. Stupid Coffin is inside right now, being pushed. But ooh, the afterburn is being laid right now. Stupid Coffin might be in trouble, but she has the reboot. He can really go anytime, and they will disengage for now. But probably City of Hunter will get the weapon weapon orb as early as now. Yeah, that's a good uh, rotation from City of Hunter here. And uh, probably they will answer back by getting the crystal orb up there. Seems oh. like Vigilante has no plan here. Now they're trying, but it might be too late now. Mm. They're rewarded. Your gold Shion is getting taken as well. That might be the problem. Um, if you're oh, just getting too low here. Oh no, stupid Coffin is being bursted down right now. And they still want the Crystal Trian for some reason. They're just standing their ground right now. But Stupid Coffin is running low and the reboot has been activated. Need to be careful right now. Stupid Coffin still half left and the first blood has been initiated. Meanwhile, player is just Ooh. inside double kill. That leave though. By I am Fanatic X. Vigilante quite forceful in that counter jungle. A little bit too late there. Mm. The intention was there but a bit too late and uh, City of Hunter took advantage of that. It's kind of the over extent of what, what they need to do especially like for me if, if, if someone got my buff I will steal their own buff but Vigilante is kind of sticking on that uh, kind of mindset. Oh they, it is. It's a CP box. Uh, CP box with I think this would be directly for alternative current for added attack speed and CP. Might be really scary right now, especially the composition. But with the tankiness on Vigilante side, ooh, being pushed down, so we got in again being caught and Tyon. I mean, that's what we were talking about. I mean, a Glaive, Taka, a dive composition. Really deadly early game. Mm -hmm. Even against an Alpha. Mm -hmm. It's like with the push and the burst from Taka at the same time, they can really tower dive and escape without any worries. Look at this second rotation here coming in from uh, Taeyons and I'm Fanatic. Look at this, it's so warded. I mean, it's a bit of an excess. You have two wards, they're at the same spot. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe probably a misclick or something. Or a mistouch in this case. Look at this, Iris holding so well a Vox. I mean, a Catherine is such a good counter than Vox. Mm -hmm. But early on in the game, Vox will have an early advantage to Catherine. Meanwhile, Taeyons right now having a Ooh. bit trouble, but burst it down! Go Cry is being burst it down right now. Stupid Goffin is just inside trying to commit on that one but the reboot probably will be activated but the heal there we go that's the reboot right now stupid coffin will be again oh, go down wow. <laughs> stupid coffin he really is in the coffin throughout the game here that's <laughs> zero three he is totally banished out of the game here by i am fanatic and say on zero especially stu um not really stupid coffin but the alpha having an early struggle if she is a cp especially yeah, there's really no much firepower, especially if you're a CP, right? Mm -hmm. 
You, you will just... you will just feel the power of a CP Alpha when you hit level six. Look at that, Celeste. For being so much early game, and I thought like um, Vigilante had a really good comp, but in terms of rotation, I mean, City of Hunter just really excels. Mm -hmm. Like early on in the game, the rotation they got they got a buff, they got they got the gold oak which gives them decent amount of gold right now and the kills early on so 5-0 right now and three four thousand almost four thousand gold advantage and if you're looking at the top lane here i mean stupid coffin is getting forced to go to the top lane to get some gold but is also uh, it's a disadvantage to skip here with his gwen i mean she needs all the gold that she can but right now they have to share mm -hmm. especially skate skate needs experience and gold at the same time but Again, Stupid Coffin has been denied by the jungle camps. Meanwhile, Iris... Oh, look at that damage from Iris here. Iris being killed. Yeah. Surely he can like run from this one, but... Makjag, again, a crystal power. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much damage early game here. But now... Ooh, ooh the stun. A perfect stun there. Vigin back, back. Vigin back, back. And the siblings there, diving in. And with that... Wait for it, and he's dead. Mm -hmm. Wait for it, and... Well, Tyrant's here. Yeah. Skip ooh. there. Oh, look at that damage. With Even a Skedaddle that... won't help you here. If that's an early tension, Bullfrog right there. Another tension, Bullfrog, and this Two will more, be the demise of oh, of wow. K right Stupid now. It's Super Coffin again. What what is your plan about Super Coffin? Yeah. He's in the coffin once more. <laughs> like the reboot. Wow. The, the reboot doesn't really do anything, especially a burst decomposition. Look at this. Uh, throw it down here for uh, Vigilante. That's the advantage of a CP box. He can really push, uh, push faster, especially the bouncing from um, Julia's song. Oh no! What is Gokra gonna do here? I mean, Samuel is so OP in this meta. So. Oh no! But right now, three v three. Right now, in the Crystal Trian camp, they will get it. But unfortunately, ooh, this might be the turnaround that Vigilante will need, especially its dancing player. Inside of that one already for me for right now and decide of the river and they probably Ooh, will go home there one more Zayons is bursting down but clear saves the day okay and they're running Jag oh, go for it. Jag right now still wants the kill and with alternative current has been initiated right now Ooh. clear will be bursted down you might hear Glaive gonna make the super coffin here has to be careful so oh no the level gap it's 2v1. It's like, 2, 2v1 and level 3 versus level 6. Get that damage from Skid. I mean, it, it does nothing to I'm Fanatic. And he's just like life stealing away all those lost health. Mm -hmm. Right now, is he going to go for this push? Early oh. Serpent, Serpent's Mask. No one's going to stop him. This will be an early um, uh, first, uh, I mean, the second turret of the game. Now, it's two turrets down for a Vigilante here right now. How will they respond? Skid's but, still uh, level 5 here. Can't stun him. Fall back here. The after burnout. Can I notice no one's level six yet? I mean, go cry just hit level six, but the rest of Vigilante is still low. Um, not really that coordinated yet on on the level. Spe right now, the Celeste is going to hit the overdrive. Uh, she actually hit the overdrive right now and can really be a threat to Vigilante. This is what we are talking about. Uh, again, a level four alpha inside the turret. Ooh, again, with a Ta that. with Taeyons and I am fanatic. Probably will be diving this when the when the minion wave is already been clear. Yeah, the dive once more. I am fanatic. Too dreamy of that, but not gonna pursue. Look at the sustain of I am fanatic in that one. Just enduring the damage and bringing the health back immediately. It is Tia going for that. Jungle invade, but I'll be not get out. Ooh, Say he's up here, but Seance being wow, the annoying survive. fox that he is, but the oblivion will be blocked nicely time. But the card is initiated again. Ooh, with that stun has been resisted right now. But the turret in the mid lane has been destroyed. This will be leading the opportunity. Ooh, it's being bursted down inside. Need to be careful right now. Clear dealing the dealing the crowd control but stupid coffin again being bursted down again with the level four oh, epic wow. will secure the kill i am fanatic still alive in that one but i regret what i said he is now down but i 
GG and Bebek just wanting to have the kill again. Seance is still alive after that one. And he will go back. Oh, there he goes. Seance gonna clean up. Seance. Ah, uh, he's not gonna catch him up. You know what, here? Machag with his own mission in the bot lane here. Mm. Take down one more turret. This is what fatter. This is what we're talking about. Uh, with Machag's crystal power. Does it, it doesn't really necessary for him to hit the turrets. The, the bounce will do for him. Yeah, and all he needs is farm right now. He has the farm that he needs. Dragon's Eye and the DC. And the, and the AC is one really the core item. Uh, the buff. Buff CP, if I'm not mistaken right now. There but there's the Ghost Swing. The Ghost Swing will, will be in the hands of CD of Honor. There it goes. The cool difference. Almost 6k here. 7k even. Meanwhile, at the top lane, still sharing the lanes. Keep and stupid coffee. Oh, look at that. Half health. That exploded. Oh, Taeyans will uh, start Taeyans up. Taeyans expects to die Ooh. in. Skedandal is not going to do anything here. Oh, the dodge. The card is being dodged against Stupid Coffin. Uh, being dived by 3 right now. but he's not even level 6 yet. So he can't explode. But he's going to die. Termination Protocol is not available mm -hmm. yet. It's crazy. It's not available. Oh uh, no, right now. Ooh, a kill right now. Usolo killed by Vox. Taeyans. But Stupid Coffin really wants. <laughs> so, I mean, I am fanatic. Really want stupid coffin. Meanwhile, at the bot lane here, Mac Jack pushing here. Look at the bounce. Wait for it. Wait burst. for it. One more hit. There we go. The bounce. Meanwhile, at the top lane here, Turin has been pushed down as well. Stupid coffin is still level five. Now they're eyeing next for this top turret, and there's uh, no, no way Vigilante can defend this one. Skip going down so fast. Here. I am fanatic. Mm. Get get spooled, but. Nah, it doesn't really not gonna stop him, but I'm fanatic so low here. Oh, Ooh. look at that. But stupid, oh, stupid coffin, coffin finally gets his vengeance. But it's still not level 6. Yeah. It's not level 6. Wow. The. Not like a bug? I mean, there's... how can he not hit level 6 just yet? Mm. And look, where's the experience bar? I can't see the experience bar. But. Oh, yeah, he's almost level 6 right now. No man, let's wait for him to hit level 6 there. It's like um, one minion kill away from a level 6. There, there we go. go. Finally, Stupid Coffin now with a termination Woo. protocol. Wow, that finally took 11 <laughs> minutes. Before, 11 minutes. Before the Black Law spawn. Yeah, that's how good I am Fanatic and Saiyan Zun were able to cancel him out. A whole 11 minutes before hitting level 6. Denying, denying the farm as early as possible. For the level six, not really hitting by stupid coffin. We are here, Catherine, with an aftershock storm crown. Really, there's really no much um, damage output coming in from um, Vigilante here. Like all of them, like look at stupid coffin side them. Also with the aftershock. Right now, Samuel has been very uh, invisible mm -hmm. in the game here, having felt this damage. And Taeyeon's just like rocking the top lane here with I am Fanatic. Put this dive. I am Fanatic combo. again being bursted. Then, ooh. ooh, it missed. But unfortunately, he's being catch ooh, up right now. I am Fanatic a little bit. He needs to be there. careful. Oh no, VG and Bebek Double just kill. joining the party. Double kill. Oh, look at that burst damage from the Hilo Genesis combo. But okay, he dodged the Oblivion and went out of the way. But Mac that leads Mac Jag dancing in the bot lane, pushing the turret possibly. Still really possibly how Vigilante can answer back. Actually, they have the potential if they can read the rotation of City of Hunter. Proper warding, proper communication and what to do. Especially, two dragons is already active in the rice. And that's you. Meanwhile, here goes Swing. Once more available, Iris is going to spot Jag here. Mac Jag going to pursue. Has to go back a bit here. Might get caught off guard here. Mm -hmm. Right now, the whole of City Hunter is here. Ghost Swing, it seems. Probably it, probably get the Ghost Swing. And then they will go in mid lane or either get... <laughs> Look at that. I was just like, talking about Ghost Swing. He exploded. She's like flying already. We just looked for her for like three seconds and she's gone. Look at that. Black Claw might be next here. Go Cry here. Has to go back. Look at that. Push. Lucky push there for Go Cry. Now he has to run here. Wow. Look at that. Tank. It's really tanky, but 
They will not stop. And that card connects. And the rest of the team is now inside. And U2 from Vigilante is being destroyed right now. U Taeyeon's really lucky for that one. Again, the Hero Genesis combo from Bebek. Right there. And U the Oblivion has been missed. Mock Jag with the bouncing CP. Oh, and that oh, almost, almost. Black Claw is going to be next here. Three hits. If that will hit four, he's out. He's out from the map. Black Law is getting deleted so fast here. Iris, no way to steal that one. No blast tremor. No blast tremor. He just only has the chase, and that's it. He will chase in and hit, hit the Black Law. Nah, that that's not a good idea. Black Law already is inside again. 18-7 on the scoreboard with 12,000 gold advantage. He decided to see the of 100. And the Black Dragon is slowly lurking in the end of it lane with Makjag behind. Yes, I think it's not even the final push here. Oh, look at that bounce damage! Go cry! It's literally crying because of that damage! Wow. Again, stupid Coffin. Oh, with that explosive, but that's not enough. Last time has been from. And stupid Coffin still have some life right now. They are probably trading for some kills, but the damage from Makjag is too much! Wow, I haven't. I'm so amazed. I mean, I haven't seen a CP Vox yet in like in a massive tournament that really worked so well. Mm. It's just this. But Jag 8 0. Just has to end it. Perfect KD. Mm -hmm. Wow. Impressive yeah. performance here from Jag. And that would be a 1 0 courtesy of Cedar Hunter. Like, look, look at what, what's happening. It's just Jag doing his job, da dancing. Initi initiating the circle with Julia's song proc all over the place. You really hear, I mean, MVP of the game. Like a player, not player, but a duo. It's mm. gonna be Tyons and iFanatic. I mean, just really played the early game so well. Mm. Alpha, as I said, Alpha's so broken. Mm. But if you're able to deny her of her jungle, and especially with his route, it's a CP Alpha. Mm. I mean, it, she can't go like... Go all in in one level on one. One on one in front of Taka and the Glaive with a CP. Mm -hmm.